This video is uh, for Mr. Tommy Shu. I think uh, you're the only one at this time who will respect what I'm going through with my car trailer. I had 70 sheets of drywall on there yesterday, the day before yesterday. And I backed in my garage. I got everything from the fiberglass room back there in the corner of this garage or this side. My Harley's back there too. And all the junk. I had a friend of mine put the insulation up on this side for me. He didn't use any staples. Now I gotta come back and put staples in the drywall. You know, just so it doesn't fall out on me. I'm not gonna do this side now. Anyway, let me shut this door. Alrighty. Doesn't look like the same room anymore, does it? Sorry about the echo. Yeah. One, two, three, and a piece. It's all half inch, four foot by eight, half inch. Now you can see how high these fucking walls are. Not bad for a 55 year old man, huh? I still have to, uh, I'm gonna cut that out and put a new piece in. I didn't do this piece. A friend of mine who started to help me did that, but, uh, well, he's not here. He lasted about a half a day. <laughs> and uh, I had to do the rest. Man, was it a bitch to get around there. I used a uh, one, one level scaffold and had to stand on a bucket in order to get the ceiling one sheet at a time and to cut all the outlets. And there's a bunch of them. And my electrician got this side right, but he didn't leave me one in the center where I wanted one. But he put two of them together. I never noticed it. How stupid is that? Very stupid. You know, getting all these out was no big deal with a router, you know. And on these next two rows, you could fly. Boom, boom, boom. Then you get around all that crap. So, I figured I'd make this little video for you, Mr. Shu, because, uh, I'm sure you know exactly what a pain in the ass this was. Over here, I had to leave this area here all the way open so I could take these pieces off to run future electric in from the main line and from the box, which I have plenty left for the other side and upstairs to be able to get upstairs. So that was a smart thinking on my part. The guy who was going to help me was just going to start running. I'm like, you can't do that. So, I'm that much closer to warmth. I can run that space heater for about 10 minutes and get it to 70 degrees without a door. For now I can put a piece of plastic up I guess. I have a door out there, but it opens the wrong way. I think I'll just flip the hinges around. The hardest part was putting the insulation under the floor, under that floor on this side, and getting drywall up. 
That's the stuff that's been used upstairs. Let me show you. <sighs> this will be an easy one to do. There you go. Looks like fluffy, fluffy marshmallows. It's just 13 inches thick. Let's see. Uh, 12 bags, and I still need to buy another bag. I don't have enough to finish. You learn as you go. This side I put up from the bottom before I put the drywall up. And all I had to do was come up here and drop it in. Live and learn. Uh, let's see, let me give you a little view. <sighs> Can't see much, I guess. Got a crack in my glass. There's enough room up here for an apartment, man. <sighs> this is uh, 16 2 by 7 1⁄2 by 64. These windows are, look dirty, huh? I guess they are kind of dirty. From all the heat up here. Future fan goes up there in the top. <clears throat> Here's another nine feet above the uh, above this ceiling. There's another nine feet to the top. Hey. All right. My grandson sweeping up. There's the scoop. Still got to make a mold. As soon as this room's done, I'll get right on that one. <sighs> yeah, but like I said, you put it up, but you didn't staple it. You didn't staple anything. So what's going to happen? That's what's going to happen. It's going to fall out. Oh well. Too many steps. <sighs> a lot of pieces, a lot of cleaning up. But at least now my room will be nice and warm. And uh, I can rock and roll in here. What a pain that is. I am so glad that's over. I am so glad that that's done. Good Lord. Mm -hmm.